Ryan Garcia trying to bounce back from that uh, Tank Davis loss slash knockout uh, in tough with Oscar Duarte. Very awkward fight. Uh, early on, uh, uh, Ryan seemed to be employing like a shoulder roll, but almost turning his back to him. And then, of course, Duarte is ripping body shots, which are basically hitting him in the back. But it's like if you're turning your back to him, I thought it was an awkward spot for the ref because if the kid's turning his back, how am I going to avoid punching his back if I'm throwing body shots? Nevertheless, I want to get your thoughts on that shoulder roll slash back turn move. But when Ryan would let his hands go there so fast, and initially I thought, geez, he's hit landing some good shots, but he doesn't seem to be able to hurt Duarte. And he just clearly just chipped away at him, broke him down, like you would say, just kept chipping at the rock. I don't think he I don't think he did. I disagree with you. I'll tell you why. All right. There was a transformation in the fight. The first part of the fight, he was sitting down, he being Garcia, and he was throwing hard punches, meaningful punches. Uh control and range, but set to punch. Then all of a sudden, the pressure from Duarte made him change, made him move, almost not run, but close to running uh, to the point where he was close to losing the crowd. Because when you're a guy that's making that kind of money, he made $30 million supposedly his last fight, but you're making that kind of, God bless him, but you're making, he worked to get there. <laughs> but you're working, you're making that kind of money, and you're that good looking, and you're that popular on social media, you better continue delivering. And he was in danger of losing the crowd. Where was he delivering? In behaving like a fighter. That's one way the crowd usually will not have patience with you. You, you got to fight anyway, but behave like a fighter. Like fight a little bit like they want. Yeah, you can box like Ali. <laughs> you could do a little, all that. But when, you, when you're up there at that pedestal and you've been given all that belief by the fans and all the things that they're part of giving you, because they they have to come. They have to show up. They have to watch. They have to buy the pay-per-view. Otherwise, you're, you're not on that pedestal. So there's a price to that. And part of the price is that they want to continue seeing you. Yeah, you could be good-looking. You could be flashy. You could be... But you also better produce at the end of the day with some power shots, with something explosive, with something connected to what they think is earning their adulation. And he was in danger of losing that, moving too much. And he wasn't throwing punches that were chipping him down. He was just throwing almost don't hit me punches to keep the guy off. They weren't chipping him down. Earlier he was doing that. But Duarte was blocking well, really well. And he was putting pressure on. So Duarte started again to change the behavior of Oscar, of, of um, Ryan, where he made him start to get on his bicycle. And the booze started to come. You heard them. I heard them. Yep. He heard yep. them. And there was a real tricky moment there around the seventh round. And I thought Duarte, the sixth and seventh, had better rounds. He lost the early round, but I thought he had better rounds. And maybe the pressure was starting to work. because Definitely pressure felt the momentum shifting in the fight towards Duarte in a big way. Yes, pressure takes time. Uh, the analogy I've often used is it's like a pot of boiling water. It takes time to boil that water, to evaporate that water. It takes time for pressure to evaporate someone's will and skill. It takes time. And the clock was ticking. And he started to get to him, it looked like, a little bit. And all of a sudden, Duarte made a mistake. He reached with the right hand, and the best punch that Garcia has, which is a good punch, uh, a short left hook, a counter left hook. You know, they call it a check hook. I'm just going to say a nice, short counter left hook, like a Joe Lewis, who I love, like his short punches. And it was. And it got into that space. He reached the loo with the right hand, bang. Done like a real good fighter can do. And it hurt him, and he stayed on him, and he finished him. The only thing after that that was a little bit maybe questionable was, again, we. I try to tell the whole thing, whether you like it or not, whether Dewate got up in the... I'm going to put a twist on words, in the nick of not time. Well, that's why I said that I thought maybe he was chipping away because, to me, Duarte quit. 
Like, he, he, dude, he's counting well, to 10. Well, I was on the border. Eight, will you get up? What it's are you doing? To, it's hard to be it. We, we're not in their minds and souls and hearts. That's heart. fair. But that's but what it looked like to I me. I get it. It's like, You're dude, right. You're not you're wrong. Right, the ref is like right in his face. Eight, nine. And at nine, he starts getting, you know what's going to happen. You know it's what like it asking, looks like? It's like what the if, doctor asking, can you see? And you say no. The fight's over immediately. The bottom line is the knockout, I think it was the eighth round, it came yep. in the, truly in the nick of time before the crowd started to really get away from Ryan before the fight might have gotten away from Ryan. His talent pulled it out. He landed the punch. Uh, he was saved by that punch. I don't know if it saves him in the future with better fighters. I don't know. I like Ryan. I like him a lot. But I believe that at that moment, I'm describing, I think, the way, the best way I can, that it's it saved him. Uh, it pulled him out of a possible potential fire that could have been starting to surge a little bit and again at the end of the day um everything's forgiven see that's the one thing about a great punch i talk about the great eraser you know it's kind of like if you're a certain religion like catholic the way i was brought up uh you go to confession you confess your sins and now you're clean <laughs> you're clean. Now you're okay. You're good to go because you confess. You 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 go in the confessional booth. You you confess all your sins. A punch does that too. It comes sometimes. It's like a confessional booth. It can cleanse all your sins. You know. It can it can remove you know all doubts and everything else. Um, and and it kind of did that until next time, Un until next time because. As much as it did kind of forgive everything, there was no more booing. The crowd was happy. Now they got what they wanted. They were happy. They forgot about the booing they were doing for the last three or four rounds a little bit. And forgotten until next time. Uh, same channel, same time, same bat station next time. Then we will continue this story. And, and why wouldn't we? Because... Ryan Garcia's life feels more like a soap opera than it does a boxing match half the time at this point between him and his promoters, what went on before. <laughs> it really, it does. It really does. It's so, so you, childish. Right? So you're going to need that punch to kind of turn the channel and back to boxing, away from well, the let me soap ask you, opera. Let me ask you this. After the fight, I saw your uh, partner, Pauli Malinaji, he commented on the fact that he called out uh, that Ryan mentioned Shakur Stevenson in the ring afterwards. And Pauli said... Compared to De Los Santos, De Los Santos was 50 times better than Duarte. And he's like, I don't think that he should be calling out Shakur Stevenson because he would have gotten wa washed by De Los Santos. I'm curious what your thoughts are on that possible matchup. Paulie is a smart, honest kid. He lost his job at Showtime and he was a tremendous, tremendous color commentator. And he lost it for being honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But he lost it for being honest. People say, be honest. Then you're honest what they do. They freaking fire you uh, sometimes. <laughs> so, so yeah, Paul, Paul, I'm with, I understand what Paul is saying. And I'll say this. Duarte, I'll give him a little more credit in, in some ways than Paul. I'll say Duarte, it could have been a lesser opponent in some ways. Duarte was game he was strong. Uh, he was he was aggressive. He was going to make you beat him. He wasn't going to let you get a freebie. And that, that's coming back off the knockout loss with the time of inactivity. That's better than some people do when they choose their next opponent. He, they, he was fighting a guy who was going to make you earn it. And you know what? Ryan earned it. Uh, Duarte was handmade in certain ways. I, I get what Paul is saying. He was predictable. He had slow feet. He was coming at you in a slow pace. He was throwing single shots one at a time. But he was aggressive. He was a guy who could punch a little bit. Not great, but he drew them hard. He could punch solid. He could punch the body. He had a good left hook. Um, he didn't put punches together enough, Duarte, but... He was starting to get into his rhythm a little bit. The talent of the talent of Ryan stopped that. So in that way, I'll just say I'll give him some credit. 
for the opponent he took. But I get what Paulie's saying. At the end of the day, he was sort of tailor-made for him because he was coming at him, coming at a slow enough, predictable enough, one-dimensional enough pace where sooner or later there was a chance what happened would happen. But still, there was a chance if that didn't happen, what would happen in the last four rounds? That Duarte would start maybe getting into him a little bit, would start breaking him down a little bit. So I I, I think it, I, I get where Paulie's saying I, I'm not going against Paulie in any way because I, 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 he's a smart guy. He knows boxing. He's a former world champ, and he's not afraid to tell the truth. But at the end of the day, I think part of the truth is that Duarte did test Garcia a little bit. Um, and at the end of the day, Garcia did what everyone wanted, if you're on his side, to see. Uh, he he was able to land a punch that shows he's a he's a qualified puncher and gives him a chance to always be able to compete at the next level. Do I right now, if you put a gun to my head, do I right now think that Garcia is ready for the top guys there uh, at at one forty? The Haney's, the 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 uh, Teofimo Lopez. Yeah, yeah, Teofimo. Um, is he ready for the Teo Females, for the Haney's, for, for all those? We got to see what happens, of course, with Pro Grace and Haney. But is he ready for all those guys? I don't, if you put a gun to my head right now, no. Right now, right now, no. But tomorrow, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. That's what we do. We wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow.